Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a sunflower oil painting tutorial for beginners and it will only be one layer. So first I'm going to explain about the oil painting supplies I'm using and you can find all of the links to the supplies in the description below of this video. So first I have my canvas paper. I have my glass palette here. It already has some paint on it from a previous painting I did. And I have some rags. And then I have these oil paints. So these are all part of a beginner oil painting set. You can find the link below in the description of this video if you'd like more information about them. So we'll be using these paints or you can use any kind of paints that you have. I have Gal Kid, which I will be using to help make my oil paint dry faster. If you don't have this, that's totally okay. You don't have to use it. And I have Gamsel, which is what I use to clean my brushes. I have some in this silicone jar that I use to clean my brushes. That's what you fill this jar up with. I also use a little bit of this in this cap and I mix it with a little bit of Gal Kit. And I have my palette knife to mix the oil paints on my palette. And of course I have brushes. So I, I just have like this um, big jar of brushes over here that I'll be using. The photo I am using is from Pixabay and I linked it in the description of this tutorial. So yeah, let's get started. I'm first um, kind of drawing out where the head of the sunflower will go. This will help me determine where the petals will also go. And then I'm kind of drawing a light outline around it. It's kind of like a circle here and then a circle around the circle. And I'm going to draw in the stem. And this is all I'm going to paint. You can add more petals if you'd like. So next I'm going to actually draw in um, the petals. Some of the petals are pointy at the top and then some are not. So keep that in mind too. To make a sunflower look realistic, it's best to not make all of the petals the same. I now have my sunflower all drawn out and I'm going to go in with my eraser and erase the outline I did. Okay, so once we're done drawing out our sunflower, I am going to take this cap and I'm going to add some Gamsel in it um, and then some Gal Kid. If you don't have Gal Kid and, or you don't want to use it, then don't worry about this step. And I just got some on my painting, but that's okay. That's fine. Then you pour some Gal Kid in here. Then you mix it. And if you're worried at all about like how to safely use oil paints and oil painting mediums, I do have a free guide where I go over oil painting safety and oil painting supplies, like all that you need to start. And I also kind of explain um, about building layers and how to clean your palette, things like that. So if you're new to oil painting, you should check that out. The link is in the description of this video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start painting in the petals. I like to start with the darks, the dark colors first, and then make my way to the um, lighter colors. And actually I'm gonna use this palette knife. So I'm just mixing like a, this is cadmium yellow. And then I'm gonna mix some of this burnt umber. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of red. And then it makes kind of like a brownish yellow color. And this painting is only going to be one layer. So because it's only one layer, we're, we're not going to do a very thin coat first um, like you usually do with oil painting. We're just going to get right into it. And I'm going to paint this dark color kind of like outlining each petal like this. But the dark color I'm not putting at the very top because um, the petals are darker in the middle 
and then they get lighter as you go outside of the petal. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so only paint on this dark color, this dark yellow color down here towards the bottom of each petal. Let's mix a lighter yellow color. If you want, you can just use the yellow, this yellow straight out of the tube. Um, but you don't have to, you can do what I'm doing. I'm just mixing a little bit of white in it, yellow. There's some burnt umber from my palette on like in here too, and some red. So next, we're still going to only paint at the base. So just lay, lay your paint like this. You can do a little blending if you want. Like blend it a little bit into the dark yellow goldish brown color that we just put on, that we just painted on. By the way, if you don't have Gal Kid, use, use a little bit of Gansel and like mix a little bit of that in with your oil paints because it'll help make your oil paint apply easier. Like, as you can see, my, like, when I apply this paint, it's super smooth. Okay, it goes on smoothly. I like to first apply my oil paint where I want it to go. And then later on, I like to do a little bit of blending, but when I first apply the oil paint, I just like to dab it on like this. And I think next I'm going to paint with the very dark color. So like in the middle and then kind of around some of the petals. So. We'll do that next, and then we will continue on with the petals. So um, let's mix some burnt umber. And I like to mix blue into, or, or green into my, like, I, I don't just like to use brown or just black. I like to mix a little, a little bit of color into it. So I'm going to mix some of this blue, which is French ultramarine. Mix some of this Gal Kid mixture into it. So now we're just going to apply this paint in the middle. Like this. Alright, wipe your brush off and then go back in and kind of blend around the edges into the yellow and then you'll have to wipe your brush off frequently because you don't want to do too much blending and then your colors be all muddied. In some areas of the petals it's really dark like at the base so we're going to blend some of this and the dark areas in between the petals. It might even help to just apply some of this dark color here like this.
Yeah, I like that better. This is how I usually paint. <laughs> I usually just put down the dark colors like this. And then when I go back in with the lighter colors, I blend it. So I'm wiping off my palette knife and I'm going to mix a light yellow color. So now we're going to work with a light yellow. So I have my cadmium yellow and I'm going to mix some of this titanium white in it. And look at your reference photo and see kind of what kind of yellow color that is. So for mine, it looks like it's really like bright bright yellow so maybe I added too much white in this paint <laughs> so let's add a little bit more yellow okay so that's like a little too much red <laughs> if that happens um just leave it to the side you can probably use it later so I'm gonna redo this this happens frequently with artists at least with me, I guess. So I'm just taking basically straight cadmium yellow and just mixing a tad bit of white now. And now we're going to paint in the tips of the petals. blend down. Wipe your brush. If you get some of the dark yellow on your brush, just wipe it and then blend. I, I did that with this petal. The other ones I didn't blend yet. Um, Do it with this one then okay so blend down wipe blend down wipe when you're blending you want to be careful about blending too much and then you muddy up the colors And as you um, paint with me, feel free to rewind when you have to, it's okay. Or like pause the tutorial. Once I add all of the color, I will go back in and do more blending. So you don't have to worry about blending too much right now. Just apply the color like this and then you can blend it a little bit into the darker yellow colors. but. Um, don't have to worry about making it perfect because we will go back in
one of the tricks with painting is to take your time. See how I'm slowly like moving my brush <laughs> to not rush yourself to enjoy the moment. And to really like look at the colors of your reference photo and compare them to your painting. Make sure that your darkest darks are the same as the reference photo and your lightest lights and your midtones because what makes a photo look realistic is not really the colors you use it's the values of your colors, which is like your lights and your darks and your midtones. So if your values are off, your painting won't look realistic. It's kind of like, let's say hair, hair for an example. Someone's hair can be green, but it still looks real, right? It's, it still looks like hair because um, the colors may be different, but the values are the same. Okay, so now that we have basically all of the color down for these petals, I am going to add some highlights. So for highlights, I'm going to take some of this titanium white and mix it into this yellow. And look at your reference photo and kind of see where the highlights are. I like to add highlights that are right next to the darker areas because that makes your painting pop. So just dab it like this. I'm gonna add some more yellow to that because it's a little too white for me. And just add it in areas where, where you see where the petals are lighter. And then don't forget to wipe your brush off because um, you don't want to muddy up your colors. So I'm taking this small, clean brush that's dry and I'm going to blend. Like if you see some harsh edges that you kind of want to blend. Like this. Don't blend too much though. You, you can over blend things. <laughs> I have done it countless times. I'm going to add a bit of like a red orange color at the base of the petals because it's kind of orange in some areas. I'm going to try to mix like an orange color. So I'm just dabbing it like this in some areas of the petals where I see in the, re in the reference photo that has a bit of orange. And then I'll go back in and kind of blend it. Now I'm going to blend that in a little bit with a dry, clean brush. 
So try not to use the one that you used before when you were blending. You can if you want to, um, but you want your brush to be dry. So not don't don't blend too much. You don't want to, like I said, like muddy up the colors. Just a little blend and be sure to wipe your brush off frequently too. I kind of don't like parts of the red and the petals too much so I'm going to kind of add a bit more yellow in some areas and this time um, I'm going to try to add a thicker amount of paint. So you, you can do this if you want to. You can add a little bit more yellow to your petals. Um, but if you like how they are, um, don't worry about this. You can skip ahead. And then there are some areas that I feel like are too dark. Like here, so I'm going to add some yellow. And if you feel like you've messed up, um, you can either let your painting dry and then you can add another layer to it if, in a few days, or you can wipe it all off while it's wet. Just wipe it all off with Gamsol. With, with a rag with Gamsol. Let that dry and then you can start over. Alright, so now cleaning off my brush. I know you can't see my palette. I apologize. <laughs> um, but I'm going to just dab my brush in blue and Mix it in with a little bit of the burnt umber on my palette. I'm going to add some more in the middle. If you like how your middle looks, um, then don't worry about this. <laughs> I'm just a perfectionist sometimes. You know, I'm kind of blending the edges of the middle of the petal a little bit. So if you're happy with your flower, then um, we can move on to the stem and the leaves. Okay, so for the stem and leaves, I am going to mix a little bit of this. It's called Viridian, but to me it's a little too blue. I don't really like that color. Like it's like a super blue green color. So going to take some of this yellow and mix it in. And it's a little too saturated, so it's like really bright. So then I'm going to add a little bit of this burnt umber. So I have like a mid-tone green, so I'm going to move that over here and I'm going to take some of it and I'm going to make an even darker green. So I'm going to mix some of this in and some more of this green. And then I'm going to mix, I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning off my palette knife. So that's what I'm doing right now. And now I'm going to mix a lighter green. So I, I like to mix a dark color, a light color, and then a mid-tone. So it's like in between light and dark. I, I like to do that for my main colors before I start painting. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this green, yellow, and it's way too saturated. <laughs> but first I'm going to add some white, and if it's still saturated, I will add a little bit of burnt umber. Okay, actually I think that's fine. Yeah, so let's get started with the leaves. Okay, so I'm dipping my brush in the Gal Kid Gamsol mixture. If you don't have Gal Kid, like I said earlier, you can use Gam just Gamsol. 
Just, just use a little bit because it'll help make your paint apply more smoothly. So first I'm, I'm going to paint in the dark areas of the stem and leaves. So I am going to use this dark green that we mixed. And this part is dark. And I'm going to paint one side of the stem dark. And then under the um, petal. Right, I am wiping my brush off. Dipping my brush in the Galkid Gamsol mixture. And now I'm going to paint with the mid-tone color green, which is the one that's in between the highlight color and the shadow color. Right, so now I'm cleaning my brush off. And now I'm going to apply the lighter, the, the lightest green color. Note that these leaves are not like super cookie cutter leaves. They're like jagged and imperfect. And I feel like that's how leaves are, you know, they're not like super like smooth looking. Oh, and I feel like this green is still like really saturated. I think it's because the green they give you in this oil painting set is like a very blue green. I wish they didn't. I wish they gave you a soft green. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to mix my own kind of green over here with the um, blue and the yellow. Okay, so I did that. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, this is more like sap green, which is a very natural, earthy green. So these leaves, I'm keeping very simple because the focus is the flower, like the flower itself. But if you want to add a lot of detail in these leaves then you can. The next thing we can do is paint the background. So if you like how this is, if you don't mind the canvas part being exposed, um, you can stop now. But I am going to mix like a very light, it's basically white, but it's kind of like a, has like a little bit of yellow in it. I'm just going to apply it in areas of my background like this. You can use your brush if you want to. You don't have to um, use a palette knife like me. I'm just quickly putting it around the flower and then I'll go back in with my brush mixing a little bit more of the color. Okay, now I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to use this brush here. It's a round brush, size 10. Dipping it a little bit in my Galkid Gamsol mixture and then kind of painting in the background. I like to make my backgrounds kind of abstract my paintings. But if you want to do like a sky background, you can. Um, you, you can just paint like this part a light blue and add some clouds in the back or add some more like sunflowers in the background. Um, be creative. Have fun. I'm just, this is just what I like and um, it's 
It'll make this tutorial quicker. As you get closer to the sunflower, carefully go around the edges and you can um, kind of blend the edges of the sunflower to make it soft looking. And if you do get a lot of color on your brush, be sure to wipe it because it, it'll get in the background. Like right here. <laughs> I have the background basically all painted in. I think I will kind of add a bit of blue in the background. I kind of like that idea. So I'm mixing this French ultramarine with white. I want to do like a very light blue in some areas. Just kind of going in, blending it into the paint I already have on there. I painted in the background again <laughs> with some blue and I'm going back in with this dark green color to kind of add some more contrast to these leaves. If you want to add some more dark green you can do this. If you like your leaves the way they are you don't have to. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for painting along with me and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!